Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, One Arm Assassin here. And uh, I get this question a lot. How do I play PC games using a controller? So I'm going to show you guys where to go and how to download it and how to set up a profile for a game that you guys want to play. Okay? So first off, we're going to go to PinnacleGameProfiler.com, which is right here. Okay? It's going to take you to this. Let's see if I can go back. Okay? You're going to click this first one. Use any controller with any PC. Okay? You click on that. They're actually having a really good sale, which is 50% off for nine dollars or ten dollars, and this is a lifetime. It's one-time payment, lifetime license for ten dollars. Okay, which is really good, guys. Trust me. You can download it for free, but you don't get as much of the program as you would if you bought it. Okay, and this is one-time lifetime. So you pay ten dollars for a lifetime subscription to this program, which is actually really good. Trust me. Trust me. It's a lifesaver. So, okay, once you download it here, you're going to go to your program files, you're going to install it, it's going to ask you for like the security questions that you have, I think it's a color, a fruit, and a number, okay, and you got to type that in on a grid, okay, for it to actually activate the program, and then when you activate it, this is going to pop up, as you can see, I already have my games that I play set up, and I have quite a few actually, um, H1, Minecraft is a big one. People love playing Minecraft, but they don't want to play it on the PC because they don't like the mouse and keyboard. Um, so this will help you get past that. And I actually love playing Minecraft with a controller on PC. It's fun. It's easy, you know. So, okay, once you have it all set up, here's what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go to Game Profiles up here in the top right corner. You're going to click that. It's going to take you to this, Okay. Now, I have H1Z1. We all know H1Z1 is not controller compatible, so I had to make a custom config for H1Z1, okay? Now, here it is. This is going to show you all the games that I already have, okay? Now, say we want to make a new one. Click in. Generally recommended. The new profiles. Yeah, short code, drop zone, whatever. So, you hit OK, okay? Now, here, if you play it on Steam, you can click the Steam icon, and it'll show you all the games you have that you can map to your controller, right? Don't Starve, Gauntlet, H1Z1, Infestation, Payday 2, Rust, Forest, yada, 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 right? Arma. Um, so, yeah. But let's make an Arma 2 one, okay? Just because I already have DayZ and all that other good stuff. So, we're going to make an Arma 2 config, okay? Now, I don't have an icon for it, so it's just going to show up as Arma 2 here. But it's got the title there, which is cool, okay? So, now, once you get that, just hit OK. Now... If you're like me, uh, you don't want to, your buttons are very important. So where you put them is 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 a uh, a big deal because if you go emulate 360 controller, it's gonna put certain buttons in certain areas that are just a pain in the ass to hit, you know. And it's it's I would rather make my own. So if you want to make your own, create an empty profile. Okay. So I'm gonna create an empty profile. I'm gonna click OK. Now here's Arma 2. Okay. Now what I do is I'm going to highlight Arma 2. There's no config found. So I'm going to come down here and hit Edit Configurations. Okay? It's going to bring me to this. Okay? Now I use an Xbox One controller for when I play. Okay? So basically, I'm not going to be using this one. So I'm going to delete this config. Okay? Anyways. So I'm going to create a new one here. Okay? new config for the Xbox one delete this one just so it doesn't get crowded you know just so I don't get confused okay now for the Xbox one or if you have an Xbox 360 controller you would do it here or the gamepad whatever one you want to be on right but like I said I'm using Xbox one controller so it has to be right here so here's my new config okay now cool thing about game profiler is like say say you want to download Say you don't want to sit there and do it. You're going to come back to the website, right? And you're going to click up here, Profiles. Okay? Now it's going to list all the games they have in alphabetical order. So I'm going to go to A. I'm going to go, oh, they had H1Z1 right there. Look, here's H1Z1, guys. But I'm going to go Arma. I'm going to go A because I'm playing Arma 2. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's see if they have Arma 2. Uh... Area, area, Arma, Arma 2, right here, right? So then I'm going to click this, 
Okay, it's going to take me to this. Now you can scroll down. Um, usually the people will put a config button or like the way the controller would look with their buttons. But this guy doesn't have it, so that kind of sucks. So then what we're going to do, then you click download profile. When you download the profile, it's going to download into your downloaded uh, into a, a spe into a file. Okay, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, cancel that because I don't want it. Okay, so then that's what you do. You would download this profile, right? Now let's see the one they have for H1Z1. We're going to go to profiles. Don't in, no. Where did it go? I wanted to see it. H1Z1, here it is right here. Okay, let's see if this guy has it. Nope, doesn't have it. Uh, this guy actually uploaded his own, so that's pretty cool because you can actually upload your own if you think you know so it would help somebody out. All right, I haven't uploaded mine, so but yeah, all right. So you downloaded your profile now, right? You're gonna minimize. You're gonna come here, right? You're, just, you're gonna hit import if you've downloaded a profile. You're gonna hit import, and this file is gonna pop up. Okay, this file will pop up. Now here are all your. Uh, your downloads for the profiles, okay? Arma 3, mm, where's Arma 2? Oh, that's right, I didn't download it. I, no, so, okay. So say we want Arma 2, but this is Arma 3. Then you're gonna hit open, right? And then you're gonna come through here. It's gonna show you where you want it. I don't want it for here, I don't want it there. I just want it for the Xbox One. You're gonna hit import, okay? Now, if you go here, see, it imported all of that into there. So now you're, you know, you basically already are done with this profile. You can now just play Arma, th Arma 2 or Arma 3, whatever, you know, you're playing. Okay. So, can delete this. Now, say you don't want this. Like, say this isn't for you. You can come in and make your own. It's as simple as that. Now, this is mapped to WASD is the left stick here's your mouse button right here right uh, say you want to jump okay Say you want to jump and we all know space bars jump in the game so you're gonna come over here right if you're making your own you're gonna come over here and hit edit command now it's gonna bring up this stuff right here right so you're gonna come in with new because you know your space bar is not gonna be here okay so you're gonna hit new you're gonna hit jump you're gonna type in jump Edit step. Okay, you're gonna come here. Now here's the important part. If you mess this up, this is it'll throw off your whole setup. Okay, so you're gonna hit the space bar. It's gonna show up right here. You click that. Now certain games you can press, and as soon as you let go, it stops doing it. Now um, I've run into a few things with Minecraft where the you know the A button to swim, you gotta tap A button, right? To get them to like swim or jump on the water and all that stuff um so it's press right now for other buttons like um can't really think of any right now you would need to hold and then here it automatically will correspond the release step which is this button right here right guys so for this purpose of this one we want it to be able to jump now you can hit repeat where you can just hit it once and it'll repeat right so you can go stop or fast or slow or fast and then as soon as you let it go it'll stop okay but we don't want it to repeat so then once we get all that set up we're gonna hit activate it's gonna put it down here okay it needs to if you don't hit activate it's not gonna save it as a command okay guys it needs to be right here and then so then we're gonna go to hit okay it's set up here as jump we're gonna hit OK again come back up to A click standard commands and jump should be here somewhere here it is right here guys here's jump all you do is click it boom automatically adds the space bar as your A button okay and so on and so on you can do that for any other buttons you want um, we all know right trigger would be your fire command so we're gonna make this one fire right so we're gonna new command fire 
Edit Step. Click here. Usually it's the left mouse button, right? Now with the mouse buttons, you actually have to click them. That's why they're here. You can't just click it on the thing like on the like you did with the space bar. So you actually have to come down and click the one you want. So we all know it's left, uh, left bump, uh, left mouse button to fire, right? Now we want it to, to uh, just press, and when we let go, we want it to stop firing, okay? Um, so like again, we're gonna activate. We're gonna hit OK. It's down here. Make sure it's down here. If it's not here, then it's not gonna work. And then we hit OK again. Now we come down here. And we find our fire button. Here it is. And we throw it on there. Now it's fires here, and this would be your look. So you would map this one to the left or to the right mouse button. Um, B could be uh, prone. X could be interact. Y could be inventory. Shoulder can be your lean. Uh, right shoulder could be your lean to the right. You know, you can do whatever you want with here. Here can be the first four of your inventory. Um, I know you can make them to where they diagonal up and down and stuff like that to add more. So you can you can you can play around with this to set it up any way you want. Okay, guys, any way you want is basically you could set this up. Now, when you're done setting all this up, you have to hit save. Okay, if you don't hit save and close, it's not going to save anything you did here. Okay, now if any of you guys are interested in uploading to Pinnacle, all you have to do is hit export and it takes whatever you've done and saves it as one of the, as the file to ex to put it up there. But like I said, back to the main thing, you have to save or else it won't save the program. Okay, now I'm not going to save this one just because this was just a mess around one. So we're going to cancel. Are you sure you want to discard the changes? Yes. Now, okay, here's my Arma 3 setup, right? I just went and downloaded it. So it's all there. Um, let's show you my Minecraft one because Minecraft is actually a big thing that a lot of people like to play. So we're going to go to edit configuration. I have all of these, right? So here I have this one. Okay. And then there's this one. This is the one I play on. Uh, this is the one I'm used to. But there's also this one. Okay. Build item, all that stuff. Okay. I just like A as my jump button. I'm used to it. Call of Duty just makes it simpler for me all right and then here it is as a joy as joystick movement um, just because WASD is really boxy I put it as a joystick move just like if you were to use a joystick that's how that's how he moves in the game okay and uh, so yeah it's basically how all this works uh, let's see what a button is on here cuz I know that this one was this is the one that gives people a lot of trouble right so jump right let's see edit command let's see what we got let's see what we got let's see if anything's in here sneak wait 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 jump okay so here it is spacebar hold and then you have to release it okay because it's on the hold now here this one is press and then hold this one here I don't use because it's messed up but like I said you spacebar to hold it when you release it okay because if you just hit it to um, to press it's not gonna work this one here you actually have to hold it a little bit you know so that he kinda like jumps up and down a little bit for swimming and staying above water okay so this one here you would have to put the corresponding deactivate button for the space bar okay or else you'll just not be able to do anything and then that's about it so that's my minecraft profile hope you guys like i said save but i don't want it to save and then when you're done with all this setting up all your games this is the cool part when you're setting up all your games you're just going to hit okay right you can hit okay now say you want to play h1z1 okay now because i clicked it off of steam this is what's going to happen. You click play. This is going to show up, right? This will show you exactly what you have your controller mapped to, okay? To make sure that you're using the right one if you want, okay? So I'm going to close. It auto closes in, I think, 15 seconds or 30 seconds, but I'm going to close. And as soon as you close it, you can click show this before playing if you want to look at it or not. Mm -hmm. So as soon as it closes, this is going to come up, okay? This is basically the smoothing, the map, uh, the mouse smoothing, right? 
Um, I hit dis disable just because I don't like to mess with any of this. Um, every time I do, it gets real like blocky, like glitchy. You know, the guy kind of like stutters a little bit. Um, this takes a lot of fine tuning to get to get it down. So I just hit disable and I do the mouse sensitivity in the game. Uh, it's the best way I found it. I have a lot of problem if I mess with this on Minecraft. The you get the guy like kind of blurs a little bit when you're looking around and it gets me kind of dizzy sometimes so I just hit disable mouse smoothing and I worry about it in the game the sensitivity and stuff like that in game so like I hit uh, if I'm not gonna do any of the mouse smoothing you would hit OK now what happens the cool thing um, is sorry H1Z one's updating but as soon as you hit play this will automatically <coughs> this will automatically bring up h1z1 okay see so you n I didn't have to click the h1z1 game or anything like that and then you just click play and then you start playing now with this though a lot of games if you're if you're in full screen if you're using dual monitors um, if you're in window mode I found a lot that because you're using the joist the the uh, mouse that it'll what it'll do is like say you're the game is here on this pro on this monitor right if you move too far to the left the mouse will actually go on to the other other monitor so you want to make sure that you have it in um, full screen windowed right which makes it full screen but it's also in window mode so that you can actually alt tab or do whatever and go to a different monitor but if you don't do it that way like I said the mouse will sometimes stray off onto the other monitor and it screws you up a little bit you know um, even if you alt tab though sometimes it does it so usually like with h1z1 when I alt tab and the mouse is actually showing up as the mouse just hit um, escape um, escape a couple times and it should pop it back into the game mode version of the mouse right and basically that's all you have to do and when you're done playing the game just close the game stop the profiler because this is this is very crucial if you don't stop this profiler guys if you don't stop this here man it's gonna throw all your stuff out of whack um, because then it's gonna start registering certain things to do certain like other things you know like if I start hitting this mouse button something will start moving or if I'm playing the Xbox controller using a different game or something this this profile is still going to be playing so make sure you stop it that way you have no problems no, nothing gets confused or anything like that right and when you stop it, it it's not running any of the program it's not doing anything so it's it's basically just sitting here you can close it and when you close it this will pop up so the pinnacle is down in the bottom that's all it tells you okay and then you can go through and close it off on the bottom if you want you know or leave it open it's all up to your guys's preference so basically that's how you use Pinnacle Game Profiler. Hopefully it helped you guys out. Like I said, this is my first tutorial video on doing a setup or how to set up a game or anything like that. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like I said, I will put the link for Pinnacle Game Profiler in the description. But if you guys have any comments or any questions on what to do, feel free to leave a comment. I will gladly help you out or gladly help try and figure it out with you you know because like I said I just started using the program myself and I you know I would love to learn how to get even even better at using it all right so feel free to hit me up anytime um, please like comment and subscribe to the channel it would really mean a lot thanks again for watching I love y'all peace